Well, good morning, good evening, wherever you are, it's Keith. Um, I've got my coat on because we're in the office and it's absolutely freezing. Going to talk about microinverter. You know, there's a, a massive, massive opportunity. Standard, our standard inverters have got huge MPPTs, which are all string inputs. But often on commercial installations, they're talking about solar panel optimization. Um, and there's lots of ways to do this. And, and part of it is not to run such high voltages, especially on flat roofs. Um, and it's to reduce the voltages because even though these things are absolutely amazing, and in many applications, if you're in a farm and stuff, perfect, no problem. But if you're in a, in a commercial building and you may have thousand panels, you need a scalable solution. So we're using a scalable solution is with the microinverter and everyone's familiar with about microinverters. What we've done now is we've done a total integration with using the Sunset Connect. Come on, Ronald says, yes. I did come on, Ronald. Yeah, right, right. I, I, I'm here. <laughs> right. So explain yes. about it, how, 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 how the integration works. Okay, so the integration is actually quite easy. We've actually put a uh, the Wi-Fi logger inside this microinverter, so you don't need a logger. All you have to do is to tie this in, uh, AC couple this into the grid, and then just link it with the Sunsync application. Sunsync connection. So it's very, you can, and, and, the, and the, there's no real limit to you, the amount of these you can use on installation. Uh, t well, technically, the limit is, well, there's a limit, it's a couple of thousand, but it, right, it's, it's, it's huge. huge. It's huge. And you can mix and match. You can mix and match. You, you know, often you might use it if, if it's a domestic installation. And this this one's got two two pounds, got two MPPTs. Some of them got four MPPTs. Cost wise, it's very competitive with with other solutions. I'm not going to mention who they are. I'm sure everybody knows them. But it's very competitive on price with the solutions. The nice thing is you're now connecting in the AC 240 volts, so you haven't got the fire risk of arcing and stuff. Especially if you're going to using thousand volts on the on the DC strings, which is huge. So these are safer. And this is scalable, absolutely scalable. If you're doing a supermarket and you put all your rays and you wire everything in the AC, all AC, standard electrical contractor, mm -hmm. they're all familiar with ACs. You can multi-point on your ACs and in your main incomer, you connect your, 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 you connect your, your, your hybrid inverter. And so of course, everything is AC coupled. Everything right. is AC coupled. We'll go, uh, we need to get some, we'll do some drawings, we'll show some how to do it, we'll do a manual. But how, actually, how, how easy is it to connect on the app? Uh, well, it's actually very easy. All you have to do is download the Sunsync Connect app, and inside there's a tool that you can mesh connect. So basically you just turn it on, select it, add it to your existing plant, and there you go, you've connected to so your microinverter. So these microinverter. connect into a mesh network. So we, so the Sunset Connect will allow these units to connect, mesh connect, and they will work in conjunction with the hybrid inverter, forming one solution. It's, it, it's gonna be, it's gonna, uh, you know, especially if we're gonna have some containerization batteries, this is awesome. This is so important to us, and very, very much so with commercialization. Fantastic. What we've done, well done, Ronald. Yeah, well done. Well done for, for, for doing this. I You're gave welcome. this task uh, how long ago? About two or three months ago. Yeah, longer. We've about longer. This. We've, longer <laughs> yeah. than that. We've been talking about a long time. So, this is the other part of the container. This is the first video. We're going to do all the training videos. We'll go on some sites and we'll show it all wired up and that. But please start considering. If you want some information, I'm going to put it up onto, onto, the, onto the blog. But consider using a blend of the microinverter. You know, some people use an optimization, optimizers. The cost-wise is comparable. We're, we're comparable to an optimizer. But it's much better than an optimizer because we've not got the string voltage and you've got mm -hmm. full control of the panel. You've got panel level optimization using the microinverter, but it's a much safer solution without having high voltage strings, especially on flat roofs. And I, I, I'm more worried about, it's not, if you've got a permanent installation, it's fine, but a flat roof and a commercial flat roof on a shop or something, and somebody's on there and they, they trip over a cable mm. and they pull apart an MC4 connector, you, you know, you, the person who's tripped over the cable called the damage is not going to get the guy, guy's going to get the blame. It's the installer's going to get the blame, and it's not the installer's fault. But by doing it in this solution, I go, it's much safer. It's much, much safer. So thanks for following. It's the first time you've seen this, what we're doing. I know everyone's familiar with it, and they all think, oh, it's been around for years and years and years. For us, it's important because we've done the total integration with the Sunset Connect 
where you can mix and match and you can view everything about it. You can view the data, what this is producing. Everything is on the Sunset Connect. It combines the whole solution into a single app, into a single point viewing point. Thanks for following us and I'll get some more. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Thank you.